let's learn about addition polymerization. Addition polymerization is a radical process and takes place in three stages. First, initiation. Second, propagation. And third, termination. Stage 1, initiation. Initiation requires radicals. These are usually provided by an initiator such as an organic peroxide, for example, dibenzyl peroxide. Dibenzyl peroxide can act as an initiator because the oxygen-oxygen bond energy in these compounds is low enough for the bond to be broken by heat or exposure to light. The bond breaks homolytically, resulting in the formation of two radicals. It is the phenyl radical which initiates the chain reaction. Because of the presence of an unpaired electron, a radical is an extremely reactive species and takes part rapidly in the next stage. Stage 2. Propagation a radical now reacts with one of the monomer molecules by pairing its electron with one of the electrons in the double bond to give a new radical. The double bond in the alkene has been replaced by a single bond. This new radical reacts with another alkene molecule and the chain continues to grow. The new radical then reacts with molecules of ethene, forming a side chain. Propagation is very rapid. At any one time, the reaction mixture will contain only growing chains and unreacted monomers until the growth is brought to an end by termination. Stage 3. Termination Termination occurs when two radicals combine. Because the concentration of radicals in the mixture is very low, it is more likely that a radical will collide with a molecule of monomer thus building long chains. The addition polymerization stops when two free radicals combine and no new radicals are formed. This video is brought to you by